With the new Nether update and Hyper subscribe, like a lot of armor sets were added to the game. Now, these armor sets, they really work for all classes. There's the Crimson Armor, the Terror Armor, all kinds of armor sets. Now, all of these armor sets are made both for the Cooter Boss and just for general gameplay in the Crimson Isle. Now, I recently found an armor set that is really good for archers, especially if you use the Juju Shortbow. Now, usually the Juju Shortbow just shoots one arrow. It, it, it's good. It's, it's okay. But there's an armor set in the game that kind of turns this juju short bow into a terminator now when i say terminator it's not theoretically a terminator but it works the same way and it also buffs your juju like crazy so in today's video i'm gonna show you this crazy armor set that really helps you with your juju bow and just general archer gameplay in the crimson isle and not only in the crimson isle it might also help in dungeons and many other places so this armor set is really really good and make sure to watch this video so you can find out what it is and how you can do it yourself now it's actually not that expensive you can of course buff it with some extra things that i'll show in this video that will make it more expensive but before this video starts with this video i'm doing a one million coin giveaway to three lucky people all you need to do for a chance to win is like subscribe turn on notifications and comment your favorite armor in hypixel skyblock then you're automatically entered to win one million coins and that's how easy it is so i mean it takes two seconds you just do it like that and along with that there's also a 10 million coin giveaway in my discord right now it's like an infinite 10 million coin giveaway once it ends a new giveaway will be added and so on so, without further ado, let's just get into the video. Now, to start off with, what do I have on my Jujubo? Now, if you look at my Jujubo, it's a spiritual Jujubo with pretty much all the enchants you can get. Now, there's smoldering, but I don't really need that. It's it's for blazes. I don't really care about that right now. I could add it. It's not too expensive. But this is my Juju Short Bow. It's Recom that has all of those things on. It's 5-star, which doesn't really matter and has fewing potato book. Now, of course, you can buff it more. You can make it even better with better enchants, but this is fine. Now, for my talisman setup, I don't really have all the talismans in game. I really need to work on my talismans if you have better talismans your bow will be even crazier now something that i would recommend you put on it is overload just because it does give you a chance to do like a mega critical hit which is really good but it's not needed it just helps a bit now what armor am i talking about well i am talking about the terror armor now if you look at the terror armor we can see that it's four sets that consist of the terror helmet the terror chest plate the terror leggings and the terror boots now you can get this in different rarities and up to infernal now infernal is what you get from the infernal tier in the Kudra boss fight, which I don't think you can even get this armor yet. Now, first of all, the armor is soulbound, so you can't buy it. Uh, if you look at the infernal tier, um, and everything is pretty much soulbound except for the first stage of it, like the, the, the normal terror boots and normal terror leggings. Now, with this set, you can see the hitting enemies grants one stack of Hydra Strike. Each Hydra Strike stack makes your arrows fly 30% faster and deal 10 more damage. At 10 stacks, your bow fly fires two arrows. So you can already see what I mean. Your bow fires more arrows. But what we actually will do, and what I found out, is if you combine this set and make it like this so you have the terran chest plate the terran leggings maxer boots and the warden helmet it is actually really really good and will work perfectly now of course this is not needed but it is better in general so you could do that yourself but otherwise you can just get the full terror set and it's already still really good now you could use this for Arjun dungeons i mean and you could use it for the kutra fight but let me just show you in general how op this actually is so if we go to warden nether right here we'll start off by just wearing a standard necron set just like so with the warden helmet just like that now if you just go over to the magma here and shoot the ones we do 276 thousand and that's a pretty pretty average it goes up to 184 sometimes but 286 thousand that is a pretty pretty decent amount of damage now if we put on the terror set with the ancient warden helmet just like so we can first of all see that we just start out by shooting one arrow but when we go over and damage these mobs we actually start shooting three arrows and that's without a pet so without a pet we now do 500k times three for the first hit and then we just do 200k almost for the other hits and that's again without a pet so you can already see how good this is now of course putting on a pet is very essential when you do this and ultimately i would recommend the best archer damage pet you have now i will use the griffin pet because i don't really have a lot of pets right now uh because i sold most of my pets but i mean you can use the blue whale if you need more defensive like that you can use the griffin you can use the ender dragon pet you can use the golden dragon pet you can use a lot of pets but with this pet equipped we can now see that we do whenever we got our triple strike we do around 500k for the first hit and then after that we do 240,000, and that's like a huge buff for this now of course this is nothing like 
Terminator in reality, if you think about it. But what I mean by Terminator is that it now shoots three arrows instead of one, which is already a huge buff to the Juju short bow. The better of a talisman bag you have, and the better like talismans in general and talisman upgrades you have, um, the better this bow will be. But you can already see 500k for the first hit, and then 239,000 afterwards is really, really good. So yes, I do understand that this is not a Terminator, but the function of the Juju short bow kind of turns into the Terminator because of the three arrow hits. Now, of course, you can see we only have Hydra Strike 2 and the 4, and that's because we only have two armor pieces. Now, I reckon the more armor pieces you have, the better this is. Um, but you can already see it's really, really good. And even with a better pet and with better talismans, this will be insane. So I've tried this out with people on the Magma boss itself, and the people I've tried it with is where I did it without, and they did it with, and they ended up doing twice the amount of damage that I did. Now, you can already see just by soloing the Magma boss here, of course, we're not doing a lot of damage, but we are doing it faster than what a normal Juju bow would do. So this bow is really OP, especially if you're going to use it for Kudra fights and stuff like that, and you don't really have the money in Enderman Slayer for a Terminator. So this is kind of like the baby version of the Terminator. Um, again, it's hard to compare it to an actual Terminator because there are a lot of differences. So please don't think that I'm actually like literally comparing it to a Terminator because I'm not. But now in general, this is really, really good. And I would definitely recommend if you're an archer and you wouldn't experiment with, with the new sets, this is something that you can get. Now you can upgrade it more, you can get more protection, you can get more all of that on, you can put some ultimate enchants on it. There are a lot of things you can do with this, but just in general, if you want to experiment with the new armor sets in the Crimson Isle, this armor set is definitely something worth trying. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, turn on notifications, and all I can say for now is bye!